hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be doing a diy capsule machine with resin and perler beads and the materials you will need are these pieces some paint and silicone mold some perler beads and also some uv resin and a uv resin lamp so let's get started Here is what the DIY resin capsule machine will look like once you're finished. You can shake it and still move around the perler beads inside. And also has a little keychain holder so you can hang it on something or put it on your keys. So with that being said, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is create some little squares for the sides of our capsule machine. I made five see-through sides for the capsule machine. I cured each side at least three or four times to make sure it was completely dry before removing it from the silicone mold. When you take it out, it should look like this, pretty thick, that way it fits perfectly on your vending machine. I'm making another piece for the side of the capsule machine. One thing that is important is to make sure that you make all the sides pretty even because if you don't, they will look really weird when you try to put the vending machine together. By even, I mean to make sure each square that you make for the side of the capsule machine is even in thickness. That way each side is even and the same. On to the third side of the capsule machine. As always, cure it three or four times to make sure it's completely dry, and then remove it from the mold. Onto the fourth see-through side of the capsule machine. After this, we're going to make one more see-through side that I didn't film, but it's going to be for the front of the machine. That way you can put the knob and the little door on the front. Now we are going to start making the bottom of the capsule machine. We are going to continue to put the resin in the bottom of the mold, but this time we are going to get some acrylic paint, and I chose to use red. We're just going to put one drop into the resin after we place it on the bottom of the mold. Then we are going to get a Q-tip, and we're going to stir it until we get it completely surrounded in the mold. Make sure to completely mix the paint and the resin, that way it completely covers the square for your capsule machine. Now we're going to cure the resin and paint mixture in between layers, that way it's fully even and completely dry before we place each side on our capsule machine. After I cured the first layer, I'm going to add a second layer of resin, and then I'm going to cure it as well, at least three or four times. Don't forget to cure it. Once it's cured, it should come out something like this. Pretty even and pretty nice. On to the next piece. We're going to do the exact same thing. Put a layer of resin first 
so that the paint don't stick to the bottom. And then we are gonna put a drop of paint inside the resin and mix it again with our Q-tip. Make sure you don't put too much paint. I pretty much used a drop because if I put more than a drop, it would be super runny and then paint would get everywhere outside of the resin and that's no good for your piece. Don't forget to cure in between layers, that way each layer is completely dry before adding another layer. We're going to add a top layer to this piece and then we're going to cure it as well. When we pop this piece out of the mold, it's completely dry and it's a nice shape. On to the next piece. Add your drop of paint, just like this, and don't forget to mix it. I was gonna do blue at first, but then I thought about it, and every capsule machine that I've ever seen was either red or pink or silver, and red just seemed like the best color to use. I was just sitting around trying to figure out what I can make with resin because I wanted to do something unique and different that you don't see every day. And I thought, why not make a capsule machine keychain? Because first of all, those are my favorite things ever. Who doesn't like putting quarters in a machine and getting a toy of some kind? It's pretty interesting. I think my favorite part about capsule machines is that you never know what you're going to get. Like if you put a quarter in a gumball one, you don't know what flavor you're going to get. And that's pretty fun. And then if you put a quarter in a capsule machine that has something like little ninjas or little spy gear. If y'all remember that back in the day. I think one time I think I got like some little earbuds. And I think I got one of those super spy hearing devices. Those are pretty cool. That was like forever ago, but um, now that I'm grown, I really want another one, but I don't know whenever, you know, I'll get to see that again. On this piece of the capsule machine body, we're going to do something a little differently. I have this little keychain piece that I'm just going to place the end inside of the resin like this before I cure it. And then when I pop it out, it's going to look like this. You already have the top part on there, so really you don't have to drill anything. And that's the nicest part. I did, however, just order a resin drill off Amazon just in case. Now this part, I'm making the little door, and what I did was put a drop of resin on our silicone mold and get some gray paint and just mix it into the resin, and then I'm going to cure it like this. So 
close you. I take a shot, it's now you. Now here comes the part where we put the capsule machine together. We are gonna start with the bottom red pieces. And all I did was put a little bit of resin on the sides of the capsule machine. And then I'm placing the sides on there before curing it. I cured this part at least three or four times. That way it's completely dry and doesn't fall apart when I try to pick it up. Once that part's cured, I'm going to keep putting the side pieces on with a little bit of resin before curing. Make sure you put resin on all sides of the capsule machine. That way each piece fits on there perfect and then cure it. Now we are putting the last red piece on the side of the capsule machine and then we're gonna cure it and then see what it looks like. Now the fun part, we get to take some little beads that I'm gonna use as capsules and pour some in the bottom to make sure that there's no holes in the resin. Now we are gonna start putting the top of the capsule machine together with the see-through pieces. I'm gonna put resin around two sides and then place the walls up before curing. After I cured these two sides, I'm gonna work on the back side. I'm gonna put some resin before I place the piece on there, like this. Don't forget to cure it in between layers, that way everything's completely dry. Right here, I had a bigger gap than I expected to have but that's because the place I had on the silicone mold wasn't the same size as it should have been on the back. But that's okay, because all we have to do is lay it on the silicone mold, fill it in with the resin, and then cure it. That way it encloses everything that you placed on there. Now we cure it to make sure it closes the back gap. That way your parlor beads can't fall through. Place another side of the capsule machine on there. Make sure you put resin on all three sides before placing the piece. Gently press down like this. And don't forget to cure it. If you have any more gaps, which I had a bunch because the sides weren't all even because of one of my molds was uneven, it's okay if you go back and just put resin on there just to make sure all your gaps are filled and then cure them. If you can tell, that's what I did here. Now I'm going to pour the rest of the parlor beads in there as my little capsules. And then I'm going to get a handful of more and shove them in there like this. Kind of looks like confetti or little sprinkles going everywhere. They're pretty fun to play with. Now I'm going to place the top of my capsule machine on. And I'm just going to put resin all around the top area. And then I'm going to place the top on there. And press down. I'm gonna cure it now I'm gonna go around and make sure all the gaps are completely sealed with some more resin I just want to make it extra secured and make sure nothing falls out of my keychain don't forget to cure it it's starting to look pretty cool almost looks just like one by the way, this is my first vending machine that I've ever made with resin. I'm pretty new to doing resin, so it's pretty cool and it feels like an accomplishment for me. I'm just going to put some more resin around it and make sure that I completely seal it in so nothing falls out of the machine. 
We are almost done. I'm going to put this front piece on the front of our capsule machine. All I'm going to do is add some resin. Make sure you put enough to fill the inside of the square. And place your little square on the front like this. And don't forget to cure it. On the clear piece we just cured, I'm going to put the little door and I'm going to put the little knob. So what I'm going to do is put a drop of resin on both places. And then I'm going to stick the door and the little knob on there. And then I'm going to cure it. And this is what we get. Look how awesome it turned out for my first resin capsule machine keychain. I can shake it and still move around the perler beads, which is probably my favorite part. I've always wanted my own capsule machine, and now I have one. So if you like this video, please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all soon.